Oh, hello, Zelda Universe. How are you? Fantastic. Welcome to a very special Fireside Mailbag, available to Zelda Universe Platinum subscribers only. If you are not a Zelda Universe Platinum subscriber, kindly turn off your YouTube and walk away from your monitor, or else we will send hordes of moblins to your house to burn it down. Thank you, and enjoy the mail. Now, I have received your questions in the mail, as my servant walks my mail from the mailbox to me daily, and then opens the letters to read them to me. I have compiled the most interesting of all these questions into a sheet of paper that I have printed out from my golden printer. Here is that paper. I will now read from it the questions I have chosen to answer for this mailbag. Many, many people sent in this question. Therefore, I have chosen to answer it out of my own kindness. Who is that new guy in the Skyward Sword trail? There is a very simple answer to this question. Although we do not have a name for this character, we have chosen to call him Debbie. And Debbie is fabulous. Fabulous Debbie is not only fabulous, but probably evil. Debbie is the new villain for Skyward Sword, and he will be teleporting to various locations using diamond-shaped bubbles. If you are even more curious about Debbie's fabulosity than I, I highly recommend checking out this informative video that has sprung up from the kind members of Zelda Universe who are interested in Debbie. Hylogy Harmione inquires, In the last mailbag, you said you didn't think there will be a Zelda game in which we see a decent amount of gameplay as the princess. My question is, would you like to see it happen? If so, what do you think would be the best way for Nintendo to pull it off? I did indeed say that I do not believe Nintendo will release a game in which the majority of the gameplay features Zelda. However, would I like to see it happen? I would not. Why would I not like to see it happen? Because such a game would be a spin-off. And if Nintendo is going to reinvent the gameplay of Zelda, or the style of Zelda enough to create a spin-off featuring Zelda, then they might as well create an entirely new class of Zelda game. And I would appreciate that far more than I would appreciate a game starring Zelda. Simple. The next question comes from a strapping young lad named Granite Dud, and he asks, Hello, Jason. Do you think the Sky Temple in Twilight Princess has any relation to Skyloft in Skyward Sword? Do I? I do indeed. In fact, this is why I fear that Link will travel back and forth between Skyloft and Hyrule using a cannon. The very same cannon that we saw in Twilight Princess. In fact, it is only logical that this be the case, and yet, I truly hope that Skyloft is a completely different location. If it is indeed the same place, then I hope that Nintendo has the intelligence enough to make it look different, or pretty different than it did in Twilight Princess. Our third question comes from none other than Keontae, and Keontae asks, Other than the tools he acquires, do you think that Link should increase his repertoire of skills, such as things along the lines of backflipping, sword beams, or even Din's fire? If so, what would you like to see? Keontae, I indeed think that Link should acquire more sets of skills, just as he did in Twilight Princess. However, I think Nintendo could create a repertoire of moves that is quite amazing. For example, imagine Link jumping over an enemy using a triple backflip, and then landing on the point of his sword, then leaping again off of that sword, and thrusting it through the enemy's neck. This would be an incredible move, technically useless, but quite incredible. Nintendo returns from the dead to ask, what temple and or dungeon themes would you like to see in future Zelda games? Well, I do enjoy a good temple and or dungeon theme. If I had to pick, I would say that I would enjoy seeing a dungeon made entirely of money. Link would enter this dungeon and slowly collect the money that makes up the dungeon. If his wallet is not big enough to collect the entire dungeon, he can run back to the store and purchase a larger wallet with which to collect more of the dungeon. And when the dungeon is entirely collected, 
he will face its boss, a giant ruby, which, when defeated, fills his wallet up to the maximum capacity. In addition, if he is stuck, Link can use the money he has collected from the dungeon to purchase a Zelda Universe Platinum subscription, which will help him finish the dungeon properly. Mr. Almost Too Cool for School, but not quite, asks, What would you think? if they had a sort of twin dungeon system between Hyrule and Skylord. First, Mr. Almost Too Cool for School, but not quite. I would like to commend you for remaining within the educational system, even though you are quite cool. To answer your question, I would find this quite enjoyable. In fact, it would be interesting to see Nintendo create dungeons that were similar in both Hyrule and Skylord. In fact, it reminds me of a game that I played long before you were born, named Tales of Symphonia. This game was released for GameCube and featured dungeons that all had similar puzzles, but increased the difficulty as you went along. They all were related to each other in one way or another. This, perhaps, is the mechanic that you are thinking of, and I believe it would create a very strong history of connections between Hyrule and Skyloft that would cause the player to ponder the origins of these dungeons. You have thought of a good idea. Finally, and I say finally, most reluctantly, Prince Deity asks, What about a futuristic Zelda with similar gameplay mechanics? Ah, that is quite a thought. In fact, I pondered this very question today as my chauffeur drove me around in my Bentley to bring me home. I thought, goodness gracious, what if Link had a laser sword instead of a regular sword? And what if Hyrule was not populated by people across small villages, but was a large city? And then I realized I was committing heresy to Steve as I was imagining a cyberpunk Zelda, which is inexcusable, as cyberpunk is the sworn enemy of steampunk. For contemplating such an idea, I almost sold my Wii Nintendo Entertainment System as punishment to myself. However, if I must become a heretic for only one moment in my life, then I shall answer your question honestly. And I believe that Zelda as a cyberpunk series would actually be fun. In fact, it would be the exact same game that we are playing now, except Link's sword would be made of lasers, and Hyrule Castle would be Hyrule incredibly large lit structure with pointy towers and lights. This is perhaps not so bad. However, the game may seem incredibly exactly the same to any Zelda game that you are playing already. Such a graphical change may be equated to the change between Ocarina of Time and The Wind Waker, or The Wind Waker and Twilight Princess, or Twilight Princess and Skyward Sword. Because of this, it is absolutely unreasonable to believe that Nintendo will change the graphic style of Zelda again for the next console release. And your opinions about a futuristic Zelda with a graphical change skewered toward things that appear more futuristic is hogwash, sir. Pure hogwash. Now that I have answered all of the questions that you mortals have sent me, I will crumble this up and throw it in the fire. I most enjoyed reading all of your questions. Some of them were quite stupid, but many of them were not stupid, and thus I have decided to answer the worthy questions that I could not fit into this video into the area below. Please read them at your pleasure, and do not forget to forward me your inquiries using the link in the description. I hope you enjoyed this Platinum subscriber-only mailbag. I would like you to know before I leave that I have won an award for wearing this suit. Only my brother, who is not as fancy as me, but still quite fancy, has won an award for wearing a suit. I'm like my brother. I get trophies for wearing suits. I shall see you all next week. Good day. La 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 Thank you.
la 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 la